Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my Once Upon a Time in Hollywood movie review. Uh, so this movie is directed and written by Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino is my favorite filmmaker. Um, I was really excited and looking forward to this movie. Um, it's got there is so much talent on this uh, in this movie. Um, it stars really Leonardo and Brad Pitt are the stars of this movie. It's 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 about them. Um, and these are two of my favorite actors of, of all time. And I don't know if they've ever worked together other than in this movie. Um, they both worked with Tarantino before uh, as uh, Lieutenant Aldo Ray. He does the same accent, actually, and Leo as the uh, plantation owner in Django. Uh, it's got a comeback from Dakota Fanning, which I could not even recognize. And Margot, Ro Margot Robbie plays Sharon Tate. She is kind of not needed in this movie um you know Har harley quinn smith is in this like kevin smith's daughter al pacino kurt russell luke perry's in this movie i did not know he was in this movie um this i guess this was his last movie um there's a little i got a, i got a little sad when he showed up um there's just a, a whole cast of characters um, you know, there's your usual, even, even, what's his name, James Madsen, I think, is in this. This has got a huge, huge, huge cast. An enormously huge cast. Um, the whole sh so, this movie was not what I thought. It's not about the Tate murders. I mean, it kind of is, but really it's about the, these two buddies, uh, uh, Leonardo and his stuntman, Brad Pitt. That, that's when the movie is at its best. Um, I think Margot Robbie's character could have been completely cut out the mo out of the movie. Except for maybe a scene at the end. And one in the beginning. When they establish who's the, who the neighbors are. You'll, you'll, I'm not giving anything away. Um... She was not needed in the movie. This movie, if I had to describe it in one word, it'd be long. It's too long. They needed to cut all her stuff out. I remember watching her. She had this one scene. She, she does this thing, and I'm just like, why is this is doing nothing? It was doing nothing to progress the story. It was just a waste. I don't know why it was there. I think if he was working with his old editor, um, they cut that. It, it was not needed. Um... I don't know where this falls quite yet in terms of my uh, Tarantino movies. It's not the best. It actually might be towards the bottom for me. Um, because I love all of his movies. And then this one, I, I liked it, but I didn't love it. Um, so I think this one might be towards the bottom. By no means is it a bad movie. If I had to rate this on the Star Shredder scale, I'd give this a 70, which is a B, a solid B. Um, it's long. Um, I felt the dialogue was not as as sh it, the, the, the Quentin Tarantino is a is a master of, of writing dialogue, and there's there's moments where you see it kind of poking through, but not as much as in the past. There were scenes where I kind of thought, okay, here's like, okay, maybe here, okay, maybe here, but it just wasn't as sharp. Um. I, I like that it was filmed in L.A. as a city I was born in, um, but it was lacking in in some areas. I, I don't know. Um, when it becomes full Tarantino, I love it. it there was just too much. Mm, I don't know. It, there was too much meandering, I think, in certain parts, and I just I found myself getting sleepy. I was actually yawning. I had to sit up. I'm like, okay, there's no way. I, and I had an energy drink during the movie. Like uh, I bought it before I went in, um, just because I didn't have my morning energy drink. But anyway, um, I liked it. Um, like I said, it's long. It's a 70. I give it a B. Um, Quentin Tarantino still my favorite filmmaker, just not his best work. I do want to see it again, and I want to fast forward to all the Margot Robbie scenes. Nothing wrong with Margot Robbie's performance. I just think I, I just felt it was a bit superfluous. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, 
Did you watch it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you hate me? Leave your comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.